Hey, what's up Facebook? So um, I wanted to talk about some tips on improving your health during this time of quarantine. I feel like we've been given such a beautiful opportunity here. I know a lot of us are going through some healing right now, really. We're t given this opportunity to look inside of ourselves and see some stuff that maybe we've been missing while we've been running around doing other things. And I think it's actually quite awesome that a lot of us don't have the opportunity to go to the gym right now because it's forcing us to take a real good look at what we've got going on in our relationship with our food and our relationship with our habits and how we're living day to day, right? Because I think so many of us are caught in this trap with, with weight of either we don't care at all, we don't care at all, or we care and we go to the gym and we go to the gym and we go to the gym and we kind of eat okay for like a day or two and then we're like, we eat all the things and then we're gonna go work it off in the gym and then eventually that doesn't work because that never works and then we do that over and over and over and over and over. So how about we take this time to heal our relationship with food? How many of you guys are healing relationships right now? I feel like right now my relationship with my kids is the best it's ever been. Like doing homeschool with my youngest, I'm just like, oh, like it's so bonding. So a lot of us are healing relationships. Let's heal the relationship with the food that we eat. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I, I am, I'm down 10 pounds from the freaking quarantine and my exercise volume has probably gone down at least 75%. I mean, I freaking crush it in the gym. I like to go beast mode for fun. It is super fun for me. Um, so this has been a really cool opportunity to just like let off the gas pedal. I'm such a firm believer that when one door closes, I feel like, like if you imagine this hallway full of doors and there's like all these brown, ugly doors on the side, but there's this like big, huge, beautiful one at the end with like sunshine and rainbows and daylight, but you can't tell if you go through that one, you might fall. So you just keep going through all these ugly doors. You're like, no ugly doors. Let me come through here. And the universe is like, Hey, go that way, work on this one, let's do this one, right? That's what I feel like this opportunity is right now, instead of us diverting our attention and pretending like we don't care, pretending like you don't need to stop drinking, that you need to maybe eat a freaking vegetable, that um, you can't just like work off all your weight and eat the pizza and the brownies every night and then beat yourself up about it the next morning and go work it off in the gym, like let's let it go, yeah? Like let's get off, let's, that's a freaking grind. Let's get off that, that's not fun. Nobody wants to be on that and it doesn't work, does it? Ever. So exercising never, ever, ever, ever is a weight loss strategy. The more you think of what exercise is a weight loss strategy, you'll never get the results that you want. I can go in the gym and I can crush it for three hours. I literally could, I would, I love being in the gym. I could be in the gym all day, right? And I have had many times where I am in the gym for like two hours a day, but if my eating isn't on point, it doesn't matter. Like I will gain body fat, like nothing, it doesn't affect it. The only thing that ever affects my body composition is my nutrition. So the sooner we can think about getting, living in the body of our dreams, and I'm not just talking about the way we look aesthetically, I'm also talking about our freaking brains and our guts. Right, so this is where, guys listen, like, okay, I was listening to Zach Bush, he's an amazing expert on gut health today. He was saying like, our gut lining, the surface area of our gut lining covers two tennis courts. Our skin is like a me one and a half meters. Our gut lining where, by the way, 80% of our immune system is based, is that big, it's exposed to that much. And so when we're putting all this inflammatory crap in it all the time that our immune system's having to fight against, no wonder we have so many issues. Inflammation is the root of all disease. No wonder we have type two diabetes and brain issues and all that. So our eating is not just for us to look good, it's to, for the whole entire quality of our life to change. This is a, truly, eating better was a led to my personal awakening. I'm living a different life than I used to because I changed the food that I was putting in my body on the daily and I, I thought it didn't matter. And guys, I was on that McDonald's ramen noodles, freaking like all of it, like cold cereal, Taco Bell, whatever. Like I was eating all those foods and I didn't think it mattered that much. And then I changed, my, I'm not saying a little bit changed. When I say I changed my nutrition, I completely changed my nutrition. Like I haven't eaten at one of those places in years. I don't even know where they are, right? I eat now real food, right? Like today I had what Greek yogurt in a huge thing for lunch. I had like cauliflower and carrots sprayed in avocado oil with like seasoning salt on it. Like that's how I, eat. I, I nurture my insides. Yes, my body looks a lot better too, but my insides, my mental health, my cognitive clarity, my desire, my willpower, my drive for life, like all of it has just gone exponential. So like, yeah, does it feel good to look good? Yeah, it feels good to look good, but we can take this opportunity not only to, yes, look better, but to 
astronomically improve our lives and the quality of the lives that we live by changing the food that we put in our mouths every day. It is more than just weight. It is more than that. It's the entire quality of your life depends on it. We are super high tech, biotechnical marvels. Our bodies are so advanced and they have all these needs. They have all these vitamins and minerals and all these micronutrients that they need to operate correctly. And yeah, they can like get by on other stuff. They can, our bodies can get by on other stuff, but do you want to get by? Do you want to just get by until you die? Or do you want to freaking live? I want to freaking live. I want to see the world. I want to have energy. I want to do whatever I want to do. I want to have the mental tenacity and brain power every day. Guys, I, I'm being honest with you when I say I like shoot out of my bed like a rocket every morning because I'm so excited about my life. That is a great place to be. It is a great place to be. I, I work on my projects till like late at night because I love it. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be so awesome. That is how I live my life. And it, I was not like that before when I was eating different food. So this, these, these suits that we're in, like this is the only thing that we actually have to take care of. How are you doing on that? And I don't say that to guilt you. I'm just saying like this, this is the vehicle you drive your life through. This is, this is it. So do you want like a souped up freaking sports car or do you want like clunker? Cause that clunker is going to hold you back. It is going to be breaking down all the time. It's not going to be as enjoyable the whole time. Like you can, you can have a souped up sports car and it is literally through every single choice, every single time you put something in your mouth. And I'm not going to get into keto. I'm not going to get into low carb. I'm not going to get into any of that crap. It's I'm going to get into just eating good food. Does it matter when you eat the Reese's Puffs late at night or you drink, you're drinking a bunch of alcohol right now to like drown all your sorrows? Yep. It matters a whole freaking bunch. It's not making anything better. It's like when I always say like when things are going hard for you, oops, excuse me. Like don't, don't let it all go. <laughs> that shit just like piles one thing on top of another. Don't let it all go. Take care of you first. When there's like a, you guys have all heard the personal development saying nothing gets better until you do. So if you want your life to get better, this has got to get better. This has got to be a major priority. You need to be taking your krill oil or omega-3 fatty acids, getting some magnesium in your life, just eating vegetables, eating like high quality meat if you can get it. Like go get a, go get some wild caught salmon. I got sprouts open down the street. I can get some wild caught salmon. Go get that feast, feast your body, feast nutrients into your body and your whole life changes. So when we get this mindset of like, this was a major paradigm shift for me was, okay, I don't have to restrict. I don't have to starve myself. I'm not going to do all that. I'm going to see how many nutrients I can pack into my body. So yeah, of course, when I was losing weight, sometimes I restricted calories. Absolutely. Intermittent fasting is super, super effective way to do that. But sometimes I got really freaking hungry and I'm like, it's going down. I'm, <laughs> I am super hungry. I can't hang anymore. And so when I did that, I just stuffed my body with nutrients. I'm like, here you go, body. So I was like, you can eat all you want. It just needs to be nutrient packed. So sure. You want a whole nother salad? Go for it. You want another protein shake? Go for it. Right. But it needs to be nutrient packed. You have all the freaking vegetables and chicken you want. And guess what? If you're really wanting to eat and real food doesn't sound good, you're not hungry. That is not what you're feeding. You're feeding something else. So figure out what that is. Because if you're doing it with food, you're probably doing it with other things in your life too. It is called avoiding. And the second you stop doing it and you start recognizing, what, like take a moment, take a moment and be like, why am I doing this right now? It's going to be an epiphany. And I've had, I, even after fixing my nutrition, I've had moments. I did. I, I went through a really, really stressful life event, like two two years ago. And uh, shortly after that, I noticed, and this was right when I was taking off in like my fitness business and like start making my own website and getting all my digital programs created. And I was super overwhelmed, super overwhelmed. And I was like financially scared. I'm like, like barely making it. You know, it was like a very stressful time. I don't know if any of you have ever been there, but it's really, really stressful, especially when you have kids. And, and I was, Hey, Hey, Dr. Barry, how are you? Thanks for jumping on. Um, so Later, you'll, you'll hear my confession, Dr. Barry. <laughs> I was, I'm working on all this stuff and I started, I, one night I decided I was going to drive to the gas station and get a donut. And I was like, yeah, I work hard. I'm super fit. I'm going to go get a donut. It's a donut night. <laughs> and I went and did it. And well, guess what happened the next night? I wanted to go get a donut again. And so I did. 
And then it went by after, and I was like, what the heck? I don't do that kind of crap anymore. I thought I was past that kind of stuff. And then it happened again. And when I realized, and I, I tell my clients to do this, I'm like, talk out, talk out loud to yourself. Give yourself permission to do it, but talk it out. <laughs> have a two-way conversation. You have to actually answer. Because what happens is when it gets hard emotionally, we just, we don't want to think about it anymore. We're just like, yeah, I'm just doing this. I don't care. But so talk it out. So I drive to the gas station and like a crazy person, yep, I'm talking to myself. And I'm like, why are you doing this right now? And I make myself answer. And I said, because you are really stressed out and it's 11 o'clock at night and you're trying to do a project and you don't know what to do and you're avoiding and this will take up a whole bunch of time and make you not have to do that thing. And I like talked back to myself like I was coaching myself and I was like, do you think that maybe you could just go to sleep? And I'm like, yeah, but I want a freaking donut. <laughs> and I was like, and as my own coach, I was like, I challenge you to go to go home and try to go to sleep for an hour. If you can't go to sleep, you can go back and get your freaking donut. And I was like, okay, I'm doing it. And I did and I instantly fell asleep. And from that moment on, I was like, hey, guess what, girlfriend? Don't try to start projects at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> it's just not a good idea. That's not gonna get you what you want in life. And guess what never happened again? I didn't do it anymore. But it, the reason why was the gift of the truth was in asking myself, why am I doing this, right? So if you're having a lot of trouble emotionally eating right now, why are you doing it? Make yourself answer. Don't just BS it and be like, because I can, because no, like actually get some fruit. Anytime we have a trigger, any trigger, whether that's your spouse pissing you off or your kids pissing you off or somebody else in your life, or you saw something on social media or whatever it was, if it triggered you, that's a gift. Take it. But you got to actually admit to yourself why it's triggering you. Our egos don't like that. Our egos are like, mm -mm, it's because she's like that and I don't like that. No, because there's plenty of people that other people that do certain random things that you don't agree with that don't trigger you, right? Like there's tons of stuff happening in the world that is not aligned in your moral code, but you don't get triggered. You don't get pissed when you see it. You're just like, oh man, that's really sad, right? So if something's triggering you or you're having a trigger to want to go emotionally eat, why? Find out. There's truth there. There's there's such a gift there, but you just have to have the, the, the willpower to actually freaking answer the question, honestly. And it's so amazing. So amazing when you can get there because then you can actually, it's, it's like that thing starts to dissolve from your life because <laughs> it's you calling you on your own BS. But until you do it, it's just going to stay there permanently. So, um, that's been something that's really, 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 really helped me in my life. Rachel, hello, Paul Carter's in the house. I got Kenberry, Paul Carter. I got a whole bunch of OGs on here. What's up, guys? Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Okay, I'll leave it at that. So emotional eating right now, if you're doing it, why? <laughs> Find out the answer. And if it's really, truly like, I think this is just kind of a bad habit I've developed, then upgrade that bad habit. If it's like Reese's Puffs or what, I'm using that as an example. If you eat cold cereal every night before bed or something like that, just upgrade it for something a little bit better. Like how can I add more nutrition in, right? So you don't have to starve yourself. You don't have to do all this crazy stuff. Just like add nutrients into this amazing machine that you operate. It's a gift. We're so ungrateful. We're so ungrateful sometimes. We're like so mean to our bodies and they're so amazing. Look at everything it's doing for you right now. Do you, you don't even know what it's doing for you right now. <laughs> None of us do. It's doing so many things. We don't even know. And then we're ungrateful for it. And we're like, Ugh, you're gross. You have an extra millimeter of fat right here. Like, come on now. <laughs> you're the one who put it there through the choices you're making. Your body is like doing everything it can for you. So how about we show it some gratitude with like, here you go, body. Here's some good stuff that you've probably been missing and that you need. If you can get in that, that mindset of nurturing the insides of your body, the outside will start to reflect that um, incredibly, right? So when you put something in your mouth, I tell this to my kids all the time. I'm like, I know it tastes good. I know you want Takis. I know you want all that stuff. I know it tastes good. I think all, all the junky things taste good too. I'm a human. But just all I'm asking is that you close your eyes and visualize what happens after it passes through your mouth and goes to the rest of your body. What happens? Right? And if you can keep that mentality with your food, it will really start to, to push your food choices into a place of self-love more than this like goody, goody gumdrops, I'm five years old, what can I get away with? 
you really start to lose your desire for Twinkies when you're like, you're eating it and you're like, what is actually gonna happen in my body after this? Does it gonna help my body or my body have to deal with it? So just like, okay, sure, you're gonna have your candy bar. Okay, well, I challenge you to also have a green protein shake with it, <laughs> right? So just pack in the nutrients. You get to that place, and you can start asking yourself why you're not feeding yourself from a place of self-love. Like, why aren't you? Why are you? Why are we? Why are we making choices out of alignment with what are what we really need? What's what's really going on there? And when you can answer that honestly, right? You look at something and you can say, like, you can have it. You can have all that stuff. You can have the brownies. You can have the ice cream. You can have, you can have a whole cupcake shop full of cupcakes. Of course you can. Of course you can. You're a grown adult. You've got money. You can do whatever you want, right? But why? Why? And what is actually going to happen after inside your body after you've done that thing? And if you did put something in your body that wasn't in alignment, if you did have the alcohol or you did have the ice cream or you did have that thing, please like say, body... I'm sorry you had to deal with that yesterday. Here's some nutrients. Here's some freaking krill oil. Here's some magnesium. Here's some minerals. Here's some water. Here's some a green shake. Like just something to say, hey, thank you, body. Thank you for everything that you do. Here's some stuff to help you out. And when you build that kind of relationship with your body, there is nothing you can't accomplish physically. I'm serious. When you get that in tune, intuitive place of self-love with your body of like, I love you. I got you. There's nothing you can't do. And it doesn't mean, I think sometimes people who push themselves too far in fitness, they get in this place of like, I have to drive myself into the ground. And even people who haven't gone that far, that's, that's the mentality. That's the diet mentality. That's the extra mentality, mentality of like, uh, yeah, you listen, I'm in charge. I'm a fan of self-discipline. I definitely have self-discipline, but it has to be in the name of self-love. Self-discipline is self-love. Right? You can have the pizza and the cupcakes and all that, but is that really love? Is it? Does your body really need that? No, it's not. So sure, like your body can deal with it every once in a while, but most of the things that we're putting into our body should be, your thought should be, here you go, body. Here you go. There you go. <laughs> mm. like, and like eat all the freaking calories you want, but just make them good, make them nutrient dense. Challenge yourself tomorrow. Challenge yourself tomorrow to have some more vegetables. I literally ate an entire cookie sheet of vegetables for lunch today. Okay. That was a lot of nutrients. That was a lot of nutrients. I had some cauliflower, just the bag from Costco, dump. <laughs> a bag, like a whole pound of baby carrots, dump. Sprayed that sucker with avocado oil from Costco and put some Redmond Real Salt seasoning salt. That's it. Popped it in the oven for 425 for like whatever till they got crispy. And I just ate the whole freaking pan. <laughs> it was delicious. But like, that's so nice to my body. And I got full and it's nutrient packed and it's not super calorically dense. And if you can, if you, the foods that really give your body what they need to operate correctly, they are not going to make you fat. <laughs> okay. It's, it's all the other stuff. So when you just get in the mindset of here you go, body, I love you. Here's some stuff that will help you. You're just going to reach your body composition goals. And, and going back to what I was saying before, your mental health freaking depends on it. Your gut microbiome, your mental health depends on the health of your gut. And if you're putting chemicals and processed crap and crappy oils and all of these inflammatory foods, you know you've got gluten issues, you know you've got dairy issues, you continue to keep putting them in there and you're wondering why you're not feeling good and you're drinking maybe too on top of it and you're wondering why you're depressed and anxious, that's why. Okay, that's a huge freaking part of it. I'm not saying that's the only, but it's a big hitter. Our serotonin, our GABA, the neurochemicals that we need to help us feel right in the head are made in here <laughs> and go up here. So like that, there's, there's so many reasons. Thank you, Alex. I actually got ready. That's the only reason I went live today. This is the first time I've actually gotten ready in like two years. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all. That's all. Just my, my, my plea is like, if you really want to get, if you really want to lean out while you're in quarantine, just start flooding your, think what is the most nutrient dense thing I can eat? And when you start looking at all the pizza and the brownies and the cookies or whatever's coming around, it's like, mm, when you actually think what it's going to do on the inside of your body, it's like, do I really want to do that to you? Like maybe I'll have one or a little bit or something, but like, dude, that's a lot of inflammatory crap for my poor body to have to deal with. Okay. So keep your, keep your mentality of like self love and everything that you put in your mouth and the whole game gets easier. Okay. That's all.
Love yourself. Love your body. Say, here you go, body. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great night. Bye.